Okay, so quick question. How are people confident enough on TikTok to do the 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 the, 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 the attractive TikToks? You know, where they're trying to be attractive, trying to seduce you, they know they're attractive. Like, here, I'll give an example. Like, I don't understand how anybody films those, like, seriously. I just filmed what I was... I was kidding. But some of those people are, like, really serious. Girl, when I'm trying to flirt, I look like the... I'm, I'm not saying it's not fair, but it's not fair. Okay, I just wanted to interrupt your scrolling for like a quick, quick question. So like, when did we start clapping like this? Like, did I miss a memo or like an email, a group text? Because, I mean, I knew of a couple of different claps. There was like the, the golf, the golf clap. There was like the proud mother and then there was like the toddler. But every time there's like a dance video or something and the thing says clap, instead of people like clapping, they're like, like freaking baby shark. So is this a new thing? Like when I'm, when I'm cheering, do I need to be like, bravo, bravo. Questions for Christian women. Part one. Okay. <laughs> do you guys watch us worship? Yes or no? Does a guy's past matter? Do y'all want to hear our testimony? If I throw up on the first day, would you break up with me? <laughs> All right. Is it a bonus if we're involved with ministry? Are we required to have the Timothy Award from a while? <laughs> Is it a double bonus if I can recite every VeggieTales song? <laughs> Is it attractive if a guy can lead a devotional? Is it more attractive for me to carry a bunch of chairs or the, or the table? I'm Holly. <laughs> I'm Nora. And I'm Judy. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you something really cool that I learned. So your weight isn't actually going to prevent you from finding love. I know. <clears throat> I've always had really bad self-esteem. But one thing TikTok is really helping me learn is that there are so many great people out there who are kind and smart and funny. And they're not fit. They don't have the perfect body or the thigh gap. They got cellulite and stretch marks. Or maybe on the other hand, they're too thin. You are valuable because of what's in here and what's in here. Not what's here. And if not now, one day somebody's gonna see that. So until then, love yourself. Have yourself a good time. I need a cookie every once in a while. Okay, I love you, bye. All right, I'm about to drop some truth on y'all right now. These are straight up facts. Nine out of 10 times, if there are two sisters, the younger sister is always hotter. That is 90% success rates. Go look it up. Look at all your friends that you know. If you don't believe me, it's because you're the older sister. Free crock pot with every loan. Well, I'm sold. 100% accurate gonna tell me where she is she is she's there, there's no one there <laughs> hello there. so I had some thoughts that I wanted to put out into the universe so the body positive community and the not body positive community they've been having a little argument a little, a little, a little beef 
One saying that every girl should feel beautiful and every body is beautiful. The other saying not to encourage an unhealthy lifestyle. And they keep going round and round about the subject, but they don't understand they are both correct. Whether it's Brittany, the girl who's 400 pounds and trying to get down to a healthy weight, or whether it's Tiffany who's 80 pounds and just struggling to survive. They are both entitled to feel beautiful while working for a better life. One thing that I've realized recently is that life is so much more happy when you accept yourself and love yourself in the journey, and yet you still try to better yourself through everything. I'm not perfect. I'm a chunky monkey. But I'm trying, and that's what counts. So, they say you look 20% more attractive to other people than you do yourself. But you want to take away that 20% real quick? Use the inverted filter. Oh, my God. So pick me, choose me, love me. All of the things I do. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. So I met this guy who said he was Harry Potter's godfather. And I said, no, you must be joking. He said, no, I'm, I'm serious. If you stare at yourself with this filter on for a little bit, I swear when you take it off, it looks like you're not normal. Like, you look like you're wearing a different, like, pretty filter or something. Like so when I was a teenager, I was really awkward. I was homeschooled. I was a Christian girl. I just didn't have a lot of friends. And one night there was an activity at my bishop's house and so me and all of the other kids from my youth group went to my bishop's house to go have a dinner and then just like hang out. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go talk to the cool kids. The cool kids were all congregated in a corner and they were all texting. So clever teenage me decides that now is the time to swoop in. I muster all my strength, I go up to them, and I utter these words. Is this the texting corner? It was so bad. Everybody left. Roses are red. I like the view. Get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Free Shav Free Free Shavaka Do. Free Shav. <laughs> sad so a year ago my uncle passed away and i inherited his old wii so today i decided to finally plug it in and see if it worked which it does i'm really really excited i went through all of the cords i had to try to untangle a big mess but eventually i got it figured out and worked and i just went to his me channel um to see if he had made any knees and some of them are really really cute some of them are kind of hard See, so there's one like this one. My uncle's nickname was Squid Lips or Squid, so that's the one that's supposed to be him. There's also really funny ones like Jaboy or like Hitler, like what? I think one of my favorites though, Jeff's girl, because he was single and he ended up dying single, but all he ever wanted in life was to be a husband and a father, and I don't know, it's kind of special to me. It's just like one little chapter of my uncle's life that I didn't really get to see before. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. Have you been remembering to floss? Yeah. Oh hey, I was just swimming by to tell you that there's plenty of fish in the sea. We're gonna believe I am the greatest president. I'm the greatest president. You're never even gonna believe how great I'm gonna be. Remove the first and last letter of your name. Let's see how cool is your new name. Papoy. Eh? Papoy? Makana papoy. No, 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 no. Papoy. 
So this one time, a couple years ago, I went on a choir trip with my choir, and it was around Christmas time, so we went ice skating in the city we were in. And this guy started trying to flirt with me, and he offered his hand because I was unsteady while skating, and everything in my mind was saying, act on it, it's never going to happen again. So I did but I was so unstable, I accidentally ended up tackling him and slapping him in the face. <laughs> Long story short, I'm still single. Anxious in the house and I'm in the house anxious. Anxious in the house and I'm in the house anxious. Anxious in the house and I'm in the house anxious. Anxious in the- Okay guys, so I just had a really cool idea. This is called a gladiator puppy. It's a mix of a Great Dane and an English Mastiff, two of my parents' favorite breeds. And these are my parents. Over the last year, they've faced a lot of really hard trials. To start things off, my aunt on my dad's side passed away. Then a few months later, our family dog passed away. She was an English Mastiff and she was awesome. Then only a month later, my uncle Jeff on my mom's side, her brother, passed away. Now my dad is a nurse and with the coronavirus, he's been really swamped. We were coasting by until the student loan company that he took out loans for to go to college told him that he had to pay the rest of what he owed in full by the end of the month or we would be facing a lawsuit. So he did what any good dad would do. He sold his prized possession, which was that truck. My dad's not an emotional guy and he cried when he sold it. It's been in my family since before I was born. I want to do something special for my parents. I think they would love to have a dog in the house again. My Venmo's in my bio. If you want to help, you can donate there, but otherwise just like and share the video. Okay, wait, 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 stop. I get comments like this all the time from people who say that they're Christian. And while maybe you accept him as your savior, you are sure as heck not acting like him. You claim to be inclusive and talk about loving everybody. And yet here you are, if a Christian like me is different than you, you're gonna bash me? Yeah, I believe some things that you might think are weird, but you believe some things that I think are weird. Why is it it's all kumbaya until somebody from my church walks by? You don't get mad at the Bornigans or the Seventh-day Adventists or the Catholics. You don't get mad at any of them, but you get mad at me because I'm a member of the church. Sorry to clarify, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I just, I don't get it. I think you're being really hypocritical. Because no, I'm not asking you to agree with me or to like my church. What I am asking for is Christ-like love and not, not ju hate junk like that. If you truly believe in being like Christ, you're going to treat his children with kindness and love. Then you can call yourself a Christian. Stop coming at other people because they believe differently than you do. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick update video on the puppy for my parents. So first, thank you so much to everyone who has liked, comment, shared, and just helped me in any way. It honestly just makes me feel so good that there are so many kind people out there who are willing to help me. I already got my first donation, and we're on our way there, guys. Now, it might seem odd that I'm kind of asking for help, but um, I don't actually have a job right now. And there's a couple reasons for that, one of them being COVID-19, the other one being actually religious restrictions. I'm serving what is known as a service mission, and I can't actually have a job. I had to quit it back in October before COVID was even a thing. I won't be able to work for another year. It sounds weird, but it's true. So for those of you who haven't heard, I'm trying to get my parents a gladiator puppy or a mastiff puppy. This was our mastiff that died about a year ago. My previous video kind of explaining the story is going to be linked in the comments. Anyway, you can help whether it's liking, commenting, sharing the original video, or donating directly to my Venmo. Every penny I get will go to this dog, and I will continue to post updates. Thank you so much to everyone who's already helped. I really want to help my parents get a puppy.